ethical issues in business. Now, are you ready for our final showdown? Oh, yes. Now, there are ethical issues which will emerge in business. And what do you mean by ethical issues? Hmm, good question. Okay, let's begin by defining the term ethics. Sure. Ethics simply refers to moral principles that guide the conduct of individuals. Mm -hmm. Therefore, business ethics means the acceptable behavior which should be maintained by business people. I see. So, in other words, they are practices considered morally right in the business sector. Yes. At the top, businesses are encouraged to avoid consumer exploitation. That is a very important issue. It sure indeed. Businesses should be conducted with the consumers and the general public in mind. Consumers should not be overcharged for the goods and services they purchase. I also know that they deserve quality commodities and so they should not be offered substandard goods. Agreed. They should not be sold harmful products. The goods should be of correct quantities and they should not be misled by false advertisement. Okay. Secondly, businesses are encouraged to give back to the society. How? I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of ways to do so. Free medical camps, education for needy students, sport facilities, providing clean water, to mention just a few. Come to think of it, mm. I have seen business people raising funds for a needy child to go to school. That's what I am talking about. Business people should also endeavor to protect the environment. Actually, this should be done by all businesses because the importance of the environment cannot be stressed enough. That's my girl. Disposal of industrial waste should be done in a way that does not pollute the environment and so releasing them to the air, water bodies and soil should be avoided. And all wastes should be first treated followed by the proper disposal. Yes. Businesses should also uphold the rights of the employees. Employees are a very important part of any business and treating them the right way will definitely help improve their output. They should be well paid for one mm -hmm. and there should not be discrimination at the workplace. Correct. And they should also be protected while at work. Imagine, for example, doctors treating people without gloves. That would be a total disaster. Exactly. A good business should also avoid corrupt dealings. Sadly, this is rampant in Kenya today. Sadly, yes. But a good business person should strive to use fair means to achieve their objectives. Business contracts should not be bought using bribes. And even employment should be on merit and not through bribes. And goods should be sold once produced instead of withholding them to create an artificial shortage. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you tell me was the name for that? I thought you'd remember. Anyway, that is known as hoarding. Yes, hoarding. It should be avoided at all costs. Mm. I also think that there should be fair competitions among businesses. Things like giving false information about a competitor should be avoided. At all costs. After all, everyone is just trying to earn a living, including your competitors. That's true. Now, finally, businesses should obey the rule of law. Government policies again. Yes. Businesses should follow rules and regulations formulated by the government. For instance, payment of taxes. And this marks the end of our discussion. Which marks the end of entrepreneurship, I suppose. Yes, it does. Now, have you learned anything? A lot. And it has made me realize that I want to be an entrepreneur, not an employee. That is great. I know you'll do well, my dear. Thank you, uncle. But I think that before you fully make up your mind, mm -hmm. You should also learn about the office so as to know how formal employment works. I will have a look at it. Hmm. There is no harm in having all the knowledge after all. Agreed. Goodbye for now. You have been an excellent child. And you have been an excellent teacher. I will come back whenever I have more questions for you. Anytime, my dear.